my name is Peter Weinberg. I'm a member of the Board of Directors of Soul Child Development, your school, and I'm here today with Harrison Weinberg. He's going to take a little video and we're going to have read a little story together. Uh, we just happened to be on a train today, so as you can see, we have a little background here. Train. Community passing by. And the book we're going to read is called The Little Engine That Could by Wadi Piper. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little engine, the little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled with toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with good things for boys and girls to eat and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed merrily along, she puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden she stopped. She simply could not go another inch. Her wheels would not turn. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. And off he steamed. Soon the little clown called out, Look, a great big strong engine is coming. Please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? I have just pulled a train with big heavy machines. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. And the big engine puffed off. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. The big engine is not the only one in the world, cried the little toy clown. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. But the rusty old engine sighed, I am so tired, I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled. And by now the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown said, Here comes a little blue engine. A very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Will you pull our train over the mountain? Cried the dolls and toys. Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat, unless you help us. I'm not very big. I've never been over the mountain, but I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, 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 they started off. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster, the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray, hooray, cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. The end.